We got hail. Good morning, folks. As you can see, the ground, it's pretty dry here. Dad barely got any rain. I got about a half inch. We got a couple hundred acres, mostly of soybeans, down by my way that did get a little hail on them. Enough to call the hail adjuster. Dad and I both have hail insurance. We're living in a cloud right now. It is humid. But uh, this morning, there's a rep from Gallagher coming out. So we're quickly gonna set our AeroQuip shoot up with a scale. And so we got load bars, we got a scale head. I got dogs fighting on my feet. All right, that's an interesting move, Ellie. What do you call that? <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do this morning. All right, so we've been working here a little bit, uh, and we're here with Jeremy. He's a rep from Gallagher. Uh, we got these load bars in. They're pretty hefty duty. Uh, what can you tell me about these? Yeah, so these are our 11,000 pound wireless bars. Um, so you can see the orange boxes on there, which is, is your battery cell. Um, so these are able to connect wirely, wirelessly to either a scale head um, of ours, or you can use a, a phone or an iPad, something like that with Bluetooth and connect to our load bar. So now there's there's no more cables to trip over, get caught, mouse or rats to chew on. So it cleans the shoot area up a lot, not having all those cables here. The one thing that I'm most impressed about is the batteries on these things and how long they last. Yeah, so each one of these battery cells will last uh, 2,000 hours, which for an average user is about a 10 year lifespan for the batteries. Um, so yeah, and then if they ever do go out, it's just a little, they slide in and out and then uh, just unscrew a wire and change them out. We'll get to show you it in use a little bit. We're going to run Jeremy through the chute. <laughs> I don't know if I want my weight <laughs> down there. But <laughs> it's just getting, we're going to drop this down and bolt it to the system here. All right, so we got this set down. Everything's tightened up. And I guess I'm not going to make you <laughs> step in the scale. I'll take the heat. We've connected, this is our TW3 scale, um, which is all touch screen. A lot of functionality to this unit. It's, it's weatherproof, it's pretty durable, um, easy to see out in the sunlight. So it's a good unit to have outside. So we've wirelessly connected to these load bars in here and yeah, it's ready to weigh. I'll hop in there. Okay. Should read. <laughs> What's the magic number? <laughs> Hopefully no more than 180. Okay, we'll I'm see. Gonna, you. I'm gonna take my phone out of my Yeah, phone. we'll see what happens. And you're pretty close. 178 today. Oh, you know why it's not 180? Because I had to pour this concrete. I lost. Yeah, there you I go. Lost a little weight. There you go. That. We'll check you next week and see what your average <laughs> gain is. <laughs> so we're very excited about that. Being able to weigh things, you know, it answers a lot of questions. Feeders in the feedlots out back, and Dad's thinking about selling. You know how much they weigh. We can just grab a couple, run them through quick, and it, we don't have to guess have our good friend Leroy come out who, who's seen and looked at a lot of cattle and say that sucker looks like he's 745 you know we can run him across here then you know we weigh our bulls at weaning we got to do that every year and then of course like last year we did the direct-to-consumer uh, with the help of farmer grade we finished some of our own home raised and we plan on doing that again this year being able to track them that way we can talk with the processor and figure out what time works best when they'll be ready one last thing we also have this suspension load cell here you know we mount that somewhere like in the barn and that's a great way to weigh our calves big readout right here it'll tell us how much that calf weighs We're excited to use it at weaning coming up here in just a couple months So dad's hauling a little grain. We actually finished cleaning a grain bin yesterday. I got this tightened up. There still seems to be a bit more play in there than I like, but it's not as bad as it was. We're gonna be cutting later this week and we'll see if things work. We got the last part we needed, so we're gonna put this shaft back together.
this. Okay. And then we sandwich this. Okay, hold up. Just like that. Spring clip to here, here, and here. Are you close? Mm -hmm. All right, Dad's gonna start it up, back it up, get these things spinning, and if we hear a bunch of clanking, that means something ain't timed right, and we made a mistake. That's the best she ever sounded. Well, that's nice to have piece back together. We're gonna fill the other truck, haul them in, and maybe go look at a piece of equipment. Got some hail on it, but from the road driving by, you can't tell a difference. We got hot dogs here today. I could do a hot Frank, I reckon. So, Dad, where are we headed? Well, we're heading to Wessington Springs. For what? I'm gonna look at the tractor. Okay, <laughs> just looking? No. Touching too? Touching, driving, petting. Hey, Cole. Hey Cole. Yeah. I uh, been thinking about running for political office here in that there South Dakota there. Uh, the been, county dunce. And uh, you know, maybe a little above that level, but right in there. Uh, I've been working on my platform, okay. And my platform. Use two by sixes now. Yep. Okay. Anyway. I'm, I'm thinking, killing it over here. Yeah, you're killing me, man. My uh, platform is going to be a popular one. I think everyone will agree that, you know, it's pretty hard not to vote for brain because my platform with this 100% humidity and 90 degree weather is going to be cool drink and air conditioning. That's my platform. And that's it, nothing else. Except furnace for the winter as needed but I don't want today what about hot drink in the winter oh it's so fun to go shopping here they got all the pretty paint job pretty ribbons is that is that it in her hair yep oh daddy want <laughs> are you daddy I'm daddy <laughs> <laughs> How many hours you say it's got on it? 160 or 140 or something. Mm -hmm. our, our current loader tractor at home has about 4,500. Yeah, 4,428 I think. Mm -hmm. I didn't really want to cut out this field today. Don't really want the sun in here. It's hot. Oh, that's good. I can say the buddy seat this is the most uncomfortable buddy seat. This seat seems really short too. So this one's obviously a lot newer. It's a 20, 21, 23. 23. And it's also got suspension up front. 
He's got cab suspension. And we were just going 33 mile an hour. I didn't even know tractors could go that fast because our loader right now probably goes tops out 26. I'd say one of the most important things, Dad, we better see what the AC is like cranked up all the way. Absolutely. So are you formulating how you tell your wife? Do you let this video come out and she watches the video? <laughs> Tell her before then. So if you never see me again, guys, guys. <laughs> well, back to work we go. Conveyor in the back could use a little gas, and I think I'll just haul it over with this instead of drive that thing up here. Just about to the ad. Help me be able to afford a bin. We did a couple things. Saved $2,000 by building the bin close enough. We're planning on using this stairway to get to the top of that bin. Another thing is I utilize the FSA, the Farm Service Agency. They have a loan program for on-farm grain storage. A little bit better interest rates than you can maybe get on like a line of credit or a loan from a bank. So that helps, financing. In a couple weeks, they'll come out and they'll start erecting this thing, and it should be ready in plenty of time before harvest. It's getting down there a bit. I've done four. Dad's done four. I'm guessing one of these next two loads, we're gonna have to open the intermediate gates. Time to get sweaty. We got some belts right here. Look at this. This thing, when we were cleaning this out yesterday, it was just slipping and the belts weren't tight and we were out of adjustment. And so we got three new ones right in here. Hopefully they fit. That is way too tight. The last belt we had on here was a B56, all right? So you would assume that's a 56 inch belt. Well, those were a little big, so we are like, let's go with a 55. Well, we got the 55 inch, but we got the B52. We want the B55, I think. Why don't you make the B55 55 inches? That, oh, that's just that just makes too much sense. The tire hits poop, poop goes on the door, my hand touches the door, now I got poop on my hand. When 
I tell you this year has just been so much better you know not no drought we've treated one cow for a limp and she come right out of it treated probably two calves for pink eye and they're healing up last year was a different story drought no grass cows limping all over because they're standing down in these wet holes getting foot rot fly pressure like crazy it's just kind of been a nice year I mean we've had a little bit of flooding the crop prices aren't amazing but I feel less stressed I hope you all feel less stressed thanks for watching today folks Love to see you next time. Have a good one.